Hey LinkedIners, welcome back to my series. Oh, the lies we tell ourselves about why we can't start a side hustle. Uh, I thought I would jump outside this morning because it is a stunning day and uh, I'm loving Sydney in the early autumn. I can hear the birds, hopefully you can hear the birds, it's very relaxing. So uh, the topic today is um, a, a tough question, okay? The topic today is a tough question. The tough question is, how are your retirement finances looking? So if you went to your super savings and you had a look at the balance, what is that balance going to say to you? So is your balance going to say that you are well on track to be retiring with a house that you have paid for? Is it going to say that you are on track to retiring? Um, and this, this very much depends on whether you're retiring as a single person or you're retiring as part of a couple. Um, but if you were retiring as a single person, are you on track to retire with more than half a million dollars in your super savings? Um, ladies, I know that I spend a lot of time talking to you um, and this is because we are notoriously good at delegating our finances to other people. I don't know why we do this, but we do. Um, so what I want to do today is to have a very short, short motivational chat with you. You may be ticking along very nicely um, as the uh, corporate woman climbing the corporate ladder. You may have been in a great corporate job for a number of years. You may or may not have children. Um, and here's what I know, your super savings is actually less than you potentially think it is. So if you're the kind of person that's all over it, you're on top of it, you've been religiously stacking away, brilliant, good on you. Um, however, I don't think that's the case for many, many, many women. So that's, that's the first question I have to ask you. Can you tell me hand on heart right now that you know that you're on track to retire safely? Uh, and that you are not on track to actually retire in poverty, like 40% of Australian women. That's an insane, insane statistic. Um, unfortunately, it also happens to be true. Um, now, the second, um, uh, the second question I have to ask you is, if you are part of a couple, you have a partner, um, perhaps you've been um, working in the home more than you've been working out of the home, um, but you're sitting there thinking everything is fine and dandy because um, we're married, my partner's earning a really great wage, everything is going to be fine. The question I wanna ask you is, are you prepared for something unexpected to happen? Are you prepared for something unexpected to happen? Now that unexpected could be something horrific, like loss of life, it could be um, an accident, um, or it could simply be um, something which happens more often than we would like, which is divorce. Um, are you ready for something unexpected to happen that is going to impact your financial situation? So the reason I'm asking these questions is because I uh, speak to a lot of women and I have spoken to a lot of women since I started my side hustle about this. Because I, what I have people saying to me is, but look, I don't really have a reason to start a side hustle. Um, I'm, you know, we're pretty comfortable. I live in a really nice house. We've got a nice car. Um, our kids are going to school. Every, everything is sweet. Everything is peachy. Um, but what this isn't catering for, um, quite simply, is um, number one, women uh, put less into their super than men and this is because nine times out of ten we do have kids um, we are carers and we are out of the workforce and nobody is paying into our superannuation what then happens to compound that is that something unexpected happens so something unexpected as I've already said um, that impacts our financial situation all of a sudden what happens is unfortunately um, a lot of the women I speak to are my age and they are finding themselves in situations where their finances simply are not on track now there's two, there's two, I, I guess for me there's two things here the first thing is why would you not take an opportunity as a smart um, woman business person working in the corporate world why would you not take the opportunity to build another income stream I don't understand it it is absolutely a really really smart thing to do that's why it's written so much about that's why um, there's all of this talk about side hustles because nothing is actually certain in this life and I bet you that if you went to your super savings today and you looked at the balance of that super savings you looked at how long you have left to earn and you tried to do a calculation that said if something unexpected happen, happened could I stand on my own two feet could I buy a house 
could I um, retire with the right amount of money in super savings? Um, and the answer is probably not. Okay, so I want to I want to encourage you to not just think about how comfortable and safe you are now. I want you to really think about um, you know what what happens when the unexpected happens, and are you truly taken care of? Um, so you uh, the message today, I guess, is very much um, please think about a side hustle. Think about bringing in another stream of income. Think about how this could actually help you if something unexpected happens. All right, that's my, um, that's my little talk for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's um, made you take some action. So what I would love uh, for you to do now is to go and check um, your super savings. I would love um, to know if you're on track, if something unexpected happened and you were, um, or in fact are, the only person in the picture looking after your financial situation, do you genuinely have enough money? Are you earning enough money? Or is it actually time to get out of your comfort zone and think about starting a side hustle? All right, I hope you have a great day. See ya, bye.